Ellie, what's the mood like there? What are you picking up from Royal Sources? Well, good afternoon, Darren. Yes, the mood here is of concern. There is a small crowd just gathering outside Windsor Castle. Many people have come up to me in the last few minutes whilst I've been setting up and asking how the Queen is. Of course, uh, we don't have an update. We only have that statement from Buckingham Palace just a few hours ago. But the, the air here is certainly one of concern, Darren. And we did get that statement from Buckingham Palace just a few hours ago. It said Buckingham Palace confirm uh, that the Queen has today tested positive for COVID. They say that she is experiencing mild, cold-like symptoms, which will be a relief to many. And they also says that she does expect to continue light duties at Windsor over the coming weeks. I am at Windsor Castle now. Her Majesty will be inside those castle walls somewhere recovering with the very best medical attention. We do know that she has her own physician. It's Professor Hugh Thomas. It's understood that he is the man in charge of her care and she will be receiving uh, the very best care from him. Uh, but like you said, Darren, this just comes a few weeks after she became Britain's longest serving monarch when she celebrated her platinum jubilee. And we know how stoic and hardworking the Queen is. This will come at much frustration to her uh, that she has had to step aside uh, from her duties. We saw her in public undertaking a large, uh, a big duty, a big public uh, gathering for the very first time at the start of this month. She had been told to rest uh, for, th for three months um, after her, her health became poorer before Christmas. We saw her at the beginning of the month. It looked as though she was starting to get back into her strides. So it will be very frustrating uh, for Her Majesty that she will now uh, have to take the rest that she uh, so dearly needs. But we do need to remember that this is a 95-year-old woman that we are speaking about. She was suffering with ill health before Christmas. She has been advised to rest, uh, and now she, she has we have been confirmed today she has tested positive for coronavirus and will be recovering here at Windsor Castle. Ellie what are these light duties that you mentioned there what what will the Queen be doing during this time? Well, we do know uh, that the Queen has been taking precautions in the past week. She has been meeting ambassadors. She met two on Thursday via video link, and she was taking precautions because uh, she had met with Prince Charles, who just two days later tested positive for coronavirus, and his wife, the Duchess of Cornwall, has since tested positive too. Now, we know that Prince Charles has made a full recovery. The Duchess of Cornwall is still self-isolating, but the Queen has has indeed tested positive. No confirmation that that did come from that meeting with Prince Charles, but she has been taking precautions since that meeting on the 8th of February, just in case she was carrying the virus. So she has been meeting ambassadors via video link, Darren. We can imagine that is the sort of thing that she will continue to do uh, while she recovers from coronavirus. But one thing that I think we can take from this statement, Darren, is the fact that the statement reads she is suffering from mild symptoms, mild cold-like symptoms and the fact that the statement reads that she will be undertaking light duties, I think they are both intentionally included to make sure that we don't panic and to make, make it clear that the Queen is in the best place for her health and is receiving, of course, the very best care. That's Ellie Costello in Windsor. Thank you very much for that.